Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Whether we're men or women, there's one worry that comes up at some point in our lives. That of choosing a spouse. Even the most independent of women and the loneliest of men need a soulmate. The question then, is how to choose the woman or man of your destiny, while staying within God's plan. This animation will tell you about the choices made by two inseparable friends, Jeremy and Carl, who were faced with the challenge of choosing their spouse. I have to finish this project quickly. My friend would already be waiting for me. That's him calling. Hello, Carl? Yes, bro, but I've been waiting for you. Where are you? I'm at the usual place. Please come quickly. All right, give me 10 minutes. See you then. Welcome back, bro. How was your day, Jeremy? Fine, thank God. How about yourself? I'm fine as usual. You know that, that's for sure. I hope your girlfriend's okay. Which girlfriend? Which one how? I'm talking about the only one I knew. You mean Jacqueline? But she's been pregnant by an expatriate ever since. No, she didn't. And now who is? I'm pretty sure there's already a replacement. I'm sure you are too. That was quick and easy. I met a beautiful one. Okay, that's fine. But this time, make sure you keep it. We'll see, and if we don't, she's not the only one. Just be careful, I know how to handle it. Don't worry, I won't, but you too find yourself a girlfriend. I don't know what you're waiting for. You've got a job, you're good looking, and you've got a good family. I don't know what you're missing. God's time is the best time. I'm waiting for the woman of my destiny. And where do you wait for her? By staying cooped up in your office and your house? I'm in no hurry, champ. The right moment will come. In any case, it's your choice. I'm ready, Mom. I've got to go. Can you spare me five minutes, son? With pleasure, Mom. Jeremy, there's something I really want to talk to you about. Is something wrong, Mom? It's about you, Jeremy. Yes, you need to find yourself a wife. You're already over 30 and I don't see any girls around you. But I don't understand and that worries me a lot. Don't worry, Mom. I'll find myself a wife and get married. I'm just waiting for the right woman. But you have to start somewhere. If you're not around women, it'll be hard to find the right one. But how do I mix with them, Mom? I won't be able to go out with women. I'm not asking you to be intimate with women, son. I just want you to be in touch. Approach women and meet them. You can choose one and study it. According to your taste, of course. I know we have to wait for God's time, but not by lying on our laurels. God isn't going to drop the woman on your bed when you wake up. And it's not necessarily the case that your wife is in your church or at work. She could be anywhere. Okay, I get it, Mom. I'll take that into consideration. Okay, have a great day at work. Thanks, and the same to you. But my friend, why did you dress like that to come to the service today? It's not worthy of the servants of God that we are. Don't tell me we always have to dress like old ladies to go to worship. I didn't say that, but you can dress well without exposing your body. I'm looking for a man. I have to look my best to attract them. By the way, you braid your hair every week and put makeup on your name. You had to tie a scarf. Don't change the subject, Diane. Anyway. It's your body, and you have the right to do what you want with it. Looks like it's our turn the car honks. But you honk and stop for what? Take it easy. Look how beautiful they are. Have you finished looking at them? Can we go now? No, I'm waiting for them to come. I'll approach them. But you already have a girlfriend. And then what? We know each other, don't we? Isn't this sister fur mine? It's Jeremiah, isn't it? You've hit the nail on the head. 
I didn't know you went to the same church as me. It really is a coincidence that we're in the same church. Is it? What about your friend, the one who was with you the day we met? You mean Diane? That's right, she's fine. She's fine, we just broke up. Oh, she's coming here too? Yes, she's even in the musical group. She is? Yes. I like your outfit, plus you wore the same color as me. I hadn't even noticed. Thanks for the compliment. My pleasure. It's been a while since we've met here. You're right, it hasn't. But I come here sometimes. So you come to our favorite restaurant without inviting me? Actually, I've only been here a few times with Diane. I couldn't invite you because we had to talk face to face. I see. And how is she? I hope you're taking good care of her. That's an old story. What do you mean by that? It's already hit me. I already ate it, so it's over. Don't tell me you already slept with her. Oh my god, oh my god. Don't tell me you haven't done anything with her friend for mine. Of course I haven't. She's not my wife yet to sleep with. I think you should stop sleeping with girls before you dump them. But what am I doing wrong? She gave herself to me and I took advantage of it. I'm looking for a woman to marry. If she gives herself to me and then I find out she's not right for me. What do I do? But it's against the word of God what you're doing. I wonder how a girl who calls herself a vocal lead can leave herself to a man before marriage. It's disgusting. But stop thinking like that. As soon as I get married, I'm not going to look anywhere else. Right now I'm looking for my partner. I don't see the harm in going to a dish to see if it's to my liking. You embarrass me. I think I'd better go home. I don't know what kind of Christian you are. Jeremy, are you talking to me like that? As long as you don't respect a woman's body, you don't deserve my consideration. Good evening. Jeremy leaves me alone. That means he's really mad at me. Mom, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh, thank God. You don't even know who it is, and you're already so happy. Don't tell me it's not a woman. Yes, it's a woman. Her name is Furman. Ah, uh, that's good. So you want to introduce me when... This very evening. She's probably already on her way. I can't wait to see her. I hope you like her. You're not bringing me a girl just to please me, are you? No, Mom. Hello, Mother. Welcome, my daughter. Come and sit next to me. How have you been? How are your parents? I'm doing well, Mom. Both my parents are doing well, too. How are you doing? Everything was going perfectly. It was only you who was missing. You won't even let me make the introductions. It's like you've known each other forever. <laughs> Forget him, girl. He's a jealous... Where are you coming from so happy, girl? I was telling you I'd met a man. Yes, I remember. How is he? When will you bring him home? He's doing very well. I met his parents today. You did? But why didn't you tell me? I would have advised you on how to behave there. Don't even worry about it. I manage just fine. His mom's not complicated at all. I hope you didn't go over there to throw your tantrums. Don't worry, mom. When are you bringing him home? I have to see him before your father, otherwise you'll know him yourself. I'll see him. Hey, son. Tell me how your relationship with Fermine is evolving. I'd say fine, we're still studying. But it's dragging on, my son. Don't worry about long studies. We need to secure the ground. She's a woman you can lose at any time, so you have to be the first. It'll take as long as it takes, Mom. I'm in no hurry. If she's meant for me, we'll end up getting married so I have nothing to worry about. Okay, if you say so. I'll go and see her parents tomorrow. Okay, but be very careful. Who's parking that beautiful car in front of my house? Wow, or is that my future son-in-law? I'll be off to make up before he gets here. I really hope it's him. You're going out? Yes, Mom. I'm meeting my girlfriends for a birthday party. Go and change quickly. Put on your church clothes. There's a man parked at the gate. I hope he's not your suitor. But he didn't tell me he was coming, and he didn't even call me. I'm not sure it's him. Are you sure? Well, let me take a look. It's not him. 
His car isn't this color or this make. Mommy, where are you? I arrive, I do my makeup, I have to look presentable. Why are you wearing makeup? It's not him. It's not him. You can take the wigs off your head. I'll stay like this. I've gone to all this trouble for nothing. All right then, I'm off, Mom. Diane would be at the gate by now. I'll be seeing you. Take good care of yourself. I hope you come home today. That will depend on the acquaintances I make. But don't forget you have a suitor. Don't worry, Mom. I won't do anything bad. Okay. This birthday party's gonna be big. We'll definitely have a blast. Am I dreaming or is this reality? That's my fur mine dressed like that. Look at her friend too. Oh my god, what did I want to get myself into? Taking on a chameleon girl as a wife. But I like her. I'm going downstairs to see if her mother's home. It'll give me some clarity. Who could it be? Or it could be Furman, but she wouldn't knock. Come in. Good evening, madam. Good evening. My name's Jeremy, a friend of Furman's. Are you the Jeremy in question? Oh, you know me? Then you're his mommy. Yes, I am. Come and sit down. Thank you, madam. You're very welcome. Fermin isn't here. She went out just before you arrived. I know she did. I was on the other side of the gate when she left with her friend Diane. Oh, so it was you who was in the car parked at the gate from then on? Yes, I was. But you had to come from there or even call her when she went out. I was busy in the car. I run a few businesses remotely. Where was Fermine going? Madame. Madame. Yes, my son. Excuse me. I was thinking about something. What did you say? Where was Fermin going? She's going to the beach with her girlfriend. But it's already late for the beach, but hey, they're big girls. So you'd like to marry my daughter? I wouldn't know. It all depends on God's will. Otherwise, you've come into a good family. My daughter is very well educated, and the dowry here isn't too high. Thinking about the dowry? Without knowing me well? I'm just warning you. All I'm asking for is two little suitcases of wax loincloth, an ox, two goats and ten bottles of liqueur. Now, uncles often ask for a car for the mother that I am. But you don't have to. If you think your mother-in-law should walk, that's no problem. Otherwise, his dad is very complicated. Oh, well, okay, I've taken note. I'll have a word with your daughter. She'll get back to you. Okay. I'll be going now. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you for your candor. And don't forget to let your daughter know I'm here as soon as she gets back from the birthday party. Birthday? But how did you know? Enjoy your evening. You've brought me nothing and you're leaving without even slipping me a bill. My God, when am I going to meet the woman of my life? The one I just met is a hypocrite with conning parents. Your time is the best time, Lord. I refuse to be like all the other men sleeping around. I want to know one and one woman only. Even if I have to wait until I'm gray, I'll do it. What have you got, my boy? It's Fermin and her parents, Mom. But they have what? Would you like me to play the recording of his mom's last question for you? Oh my God! Yesterday her dad called to tell me about her share of the dowry. So you'll have to pay a dowry for each family member before marrying their daughter. What kind of scam is this? I wonder. And what does Furman herself have to say about her family's requests? I hadn't even mentioned him yet. Not only is she an accomplice, she's not serious. What? For mine is not who she says she is. She disguises herself as a lamb to come to church. But behind the scenes she has another life where she dresses as she pleases and goes out with the man she wants. I don't believe it. I was as surprised as you were. Hi, Jeremy. It's been ages and I haven't heard from you. That's okay. I'm grateful. Okay, your girlfriend complained to me yesterday. But why are you ignoring her? I made it clear to her. I couldn't continue a relationship with her. Don't tell me you eat too and then give up. I'm not like you, Carl. What went wrong? I'll throw our discussions and evidence at you later. I don't feel like talking right now. You're still mad at me, aren't you? 
I promise I won't sleep with any more girls before the wedding and I won't dump them. Okay, but I'm not convinced yet. Believe me, I'm not. I've even decided to go see the pastor to get him to help me close this page. Okay, we'll go and see the pastor together. What's wrong, son? Pastor, I'll soon be 35, but I still haven't been able to find a girlfriend. I've met a lot of girls, but I can't get serious with her. It's true that she wasn't what I was looking for, but I wasn't right for her either. I've listened to you, my son, but tell me, what do you look for in women? My wife has to be not only physically fit, but also independent. I want a wife who will respect me and my family and who will be submissive to me. She must be able to keep my house and my children. You seem to be looking for ten women in one. My child, everything you've just mentioned defines a perfect woman, which is impossible without God. Nowhere did you notice a God-fearing woman. To possess all these qualities, a single woman needs the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Look for a God-fearing woman, and she'll fulfill your desires. The Holy Spirit has the power to transform a woman's life. So I should look for a religious woman then? Don't confuse things, my son. A religious woman is not necessarily one who walks with the Holy Spirit. Be very careful. You have to let yourself be guided by the Spirit of God to be able to discern a person who walks with the Holy Spirit. What should I do now, Pastor? Pray and ask the Holy Spirit for help. He is the only one who can enlighten. But you must also be a true worshipper of God. All right then. So how did it go with the Pastor? Well, he gave me some advice. Okay. He even said he'd pray with me. All right. Welcome, sir. What can I do for you? Did you wear brand name glasses? Of course you can. Let me make you some good choices. Okay. This one suits you very well. I think you should keep it. Yes, I'll take it. It's perfectly my style. It's perfect. It really suits you. She's made you a very good choice. Did you get his number? No. But what are you waiting for, man? I've seen the way you two look at each other. Go get his number. Do you think it would be a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. Last time the pastor told me that God wouldn't come down and present us with a woman. It's true that he had spoken to others in a dream and to some through signs, but we shouldn't generalize. God is sovereign and can act differently towards us in many situations. I agree, but I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit for help first. Okay, but go with the number. The Holy Spirit won't mind a simple number. You can use that number for something else. All right then. Thank you for bringing me home. You're very welcome. Thank you, too, for accepting my invitation. My pleasure. But I haven't seen your mom yet. She's on her way. Give me 15 minutes and I'll be there. Okay, but what are you eating tonight? Let me make you something to eat quickly. Okay, but don't tire yourself out. Happy arrival, ma'am. Good evening, but what do you do here alone? You must be Madeline. Of course, ma'am. Nice to finally see you. Jeremy always talks about you. But why does he make you cook? You are our guest. You shouldn't have this chore. Go to the living room. Here, let me help you. No, madame. It's not a chore. It's rather a pleasure for me to do it. Let me finish what I'm doing. I can't sit here and watch you cook for me. Well said. Thank you for your wisdom. I hope my son lives up to your expectations. Your child is an angel, and I comprehend the reason behind his actions. You're a very good mother. I'm very flattered. You're very welcome. How do you like Madeline, Mom? She's a very wise and respectful girl. What's more, she's a hard worker. She told me she's an entrepreneur. Yes, she is. And what do you think of her? Do you love her? I like her a lot, Mom, but I just realized she's not Christian. Oh. But that's not possible. She doesn't look it. She has very good manners and I don't see any hypocrisy in her. Yes, mother, she's a very good girl, but without Christ. 
I couldn't go far with her. Oh, but it will be such a waste to leave such a beautiful, intelligent, and respectful girl. We're going to pray together to ask the Holy Spirit for help. You asked to see me, Vicar? Exactly, my son. God has revealed to me a woman destined for you. Are you serious, Pastor? Yes. You'd already met the woman of your life without knowing it. How is this possible? In fact, you'd already fornicated with the woman of your life and ignored her. Lord. Ah, yes. That's why we had to ask the Holy Spirit for help. Who is this woman destined for me? I don't know if you know a girl named Diane. That's the name I've been given. That's not possible. Did you see that correctly? Because this girl is not at all what I want. It's true I'd had that dream, but I didn't believe it. God's revelations are no laughing matter, my son. I've gone through the same process with several people, but God never reveals things in the same way. There are others to whom God reveals nothing. That doesn't mean they're not children of God. God is sovereign. If you had the grace to have a dream, it's because God has a plan for this young girl's life through you. You're the only one who can put this girl back on the right eternal path by marrying her. Apparently, you have almost the same stories. She's the woman of your destiny. My destiny? To comprehend my intention, it is crucial that you have insights into your own fate. It's very important. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal things about yourself. Go in search of your destiny, and you'll understand why God chose this girl Diane for you. Okay, I get it, Pastor. What about my friend? Have you heard anything about him? No, I didn't get anything on him, and I won't be able to invent anything. Your friend is spiritually fit. He'll know what he needs. Don't worry about him. Why does God give me a dream when I'm less spiritual? Told you. We don't generalize God's actions. He is sovereign, and he does what he wants. Even since the Bible, God hasn't intervened in the same way with his children. God has many ways of speaking to us. He knows us and knows how to speak to us individually through many channels. Let's just be careful. Okay. Mom, I'm certain that Madeline is the woman of my life. Okay, but what makes you think that? I don't know, but I'm convinced it's her. I've asked the Holy Spirit to reveal to me her faults or the things in her life that don't honor her. But the strange thing is it's only her qualities that are always revealed to me and her qualities correspond exactly to the weaknesses I have. We complement each other perfectly, plus she's a convert. I'm so glad you finally found what you need. I hadn't received any particular sign that your father was the man for me. But as time went by, I came to understand that it was God's will. As the days went by, the two young couples realized that they were made for each other and that they should get married. Carl is convinced that Diane was the right woman for his mission, which is now to evangelize. As for Jeremy, he regained his stability and built his faith in God with Madeline. The two friends decided to get married on the same day at the same time in the same church. Man, how are you feeling? Today's your wedding day. I can't wait to meet the woman in my life, my rib bone. And how do you feel? I'm so happy, I feel like I'm dreaming. God is wonderful. He really is wonderful. I hope everything goes well for us. Surely everything will be fine. You look very tease bell in your dress, Diane. Thank you so much for everything. You made my best friend very happy. Thanks to you, he's completely changed. It's God who changes man. To him be the glory. God has also blessed Carl to have you by his side. May God unite our two homes and may nothing separate us for the rest of our lives. Amen. Our husbands are waiting for us. Let's go quickly. Diane, I'm very happy with what destiny has done for us. Man proposes, but God has the last word. I never imagined that you and I would reach this level. But by God's will, we are here today celebrating our union. 
My love for you comes from God and nothing in this world can break it. Thank you, Carl. Among all the men I had known, you were the last person I could imagine being with. But one morning, everything changed as soon as I knew you were the man of my destiny. God used you to restore me. Today, I'm a fulfilled woman and will be for the rest of my life as long as I'm by your side. Madeline, you're the most perfect woman I've ever met. Without you, my life will have no meaning. You are the fuel of my destiny. I love you and I want to be with you forever. I am and always will be your crown throughout your life. I'll be the water wherever there's a drought in your life. From now until our hair turns white, I'll be the salt. And I'll give taste and meaning to even your blandest sides. And nothing can ever separate us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And so ends this animation. There's no such thing as a foregone conclusion when it comes to choosing a spouse. The one we think is less suitable for us may turn out to be the best person. And sometimes even people who pretend to be lambs are really vipers. So let's be very careful and ask the Holy Spirit for help. It's the only one who reveals a person's true identity and their most hidden sides. You can spend even 20 years studying a person and never get to know him. Man is a very complex being who discovers himself every day and always partially reveals himself. Sometimes the person himself doesn't know enough about himself. How can they reveal themselves completely to us? That's why we need the help of the Holy Spirit. First, we must seek to know our destiny. The reason we exist on this earth determines the type of person we seek to fulfill our destiny, as it serves as our guiding principle. There is no ideal man or woman. The choice would depend on our destiny and that of the other. May God be gracious to us and may His Holy Spirit help us in our choices, however difficult they may sometimes seem. May the Lord restore homes that have come together without the help of the Holy Spirit. God is able to bring everything back to life. Love can be born at any time. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe to be informed of our many upcoming publications. Bless you all.